Welcome back, all of you that actually watch me, to another episode of Talking Kicks with Mastro Mixes. Um, today I want to talk about some of the the retros that re-release over and over again, and some that have barely released enough times for us to have them. But, you know, before I get into that, when, one of the main things I want to talk about is how they re-release them, but then they do it different the next time. Like, for example, this Stealth 5. This is the older Stealth 5 from, what is it, 2006? The shark teeth were blue to match the sock liner and the jump man on the back and everything. They just recently re-released these, but they changed it. The shark teeth are black, and I believe the jump man on the back is black, but they still did the blue on the inside. And I don't have the newer version of it, um... I was really, really hoping that it would look like this one because I love just all the blue on it. I don't know why they added the black instead. This pair is barely still wearable. The, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it, it's getting pretty foggy in these air bubbles. So probably shouldn't wear this one anymore. I still have fairly recently, but uh, got to be real gentle with it. There's no separation in it or anything right now, and it's not crumbling yet, but it will soon. So I, I may have to pick up, you know, from a reseller or something, one of the the newer versions, and I may paint the shark teeth on it blue because I like the look of this one better. Um, but let's get into the one that I really want to talk about because they did such a great job on it. is this one the midnight navy six um not only is the leather on it just super super good extremely soft leather um it's an awesome awesome they did a great job on it this one is the one from 2000 one of the very first retros ever done not the first they started retros in 99 with the white cement and the bread. They used to call it the black cement back then. Um, but those were our very first retros, and they did them in 99. First time they remade the old original OGs. Well, this was the first six ever retroed, and uh, this came out in 2000. This has been a great shoe. It's still in good shape, no separation, barely even yellowed on me for real. Um, this has not been restored. This has not been iced the sole or anything. Um, but the leather after a while starts to shrink and you see the toe box is wrinkling, but it hasn't pulled apart and separated yet. The air bubbles on these are completely white on the inside. Wear them one time and they're going to crumble. So I can't wear this pair anymore. But if you compare the old pair with the new pair, all of the colors are identical. They didn't make it a darker blue or a lighter blue. They did it perfect. Everything lines up perfect. Um, they did an amazing job with this one, and I'm really glad they did. Uh, it's a classic colors. Blue and white, you can wear them with anything, especially the navy. Uh, I was really surprised that these sat for a while. Um... I just picked this pair up a week ago, but they they actually released these quite some time ago. And I just happened to be scrolling through and I seen that there was still a pair on the sneakers app. Well, it was from Nike.com. You know, the sneakers is links to everything. But that's where I found this one. And I was actually shocked that they still had them and they still have in every size almost. So... I'm glad everybody slept on it and I was able to grab a pair because it's an amazing shoe and the quality on it is very, very good. Uh, there's a lot of things that come out that won't sit, but I'm surprised. I'm sorry, I got away from the microphone. There's a lot of things coming out that still sit and I get it on some of them and maybe that one's just a one that I really like, but not big. For everybody else, I like the clean look of just the two colors, the blue and the white. Um, 
OG colorways never sit. I understand that one, and it should be that way. There is another one that I'm excited about. I just found out about today, though. This one is finally going to re-release. Uh, it's only been released once. This is the Burgundy 5. Uh, seen the pictures of it, and it looks just like this. They're not changing any of the colors, at least from the pictures released today. So let me know, are you excited about the Burgundy 6? And did you pick up a Midnight Navy, or Burgundy 5? And did you pick up a Midnight Navy 6? Let me know. And again, before you, before you comment or anything, hit that like button and then hit that subscribe button. All right. I'm Mastro Mixes.